Right, so next thing we need to do is import contacts to these accounts. So each of these accounts will have somebody in charge of them. Somebody that you message, email, phone, um, text, whatever you do to contact them, contact them about your, their account, about what they need to pay. So what we will do next is probably for you is you would probably use the same spreadsheet, but this time it will pick up the first name, last name, and the email address. Um, you may have you may have a list of a family members, so you have you might have um, Alicia, Tom. Oh, geez, there's always a. I'll, I remember you'll do one. I can say <clears throat> Eric Rampy, right? So you might have a list that says Eric Rampy, but it also might say um, Mary Rampy is his wife. Now you will want to make uh, the main account name the main account. So both accounts would be. So let me show you if I insert this and copy this, right? If I copy this, just so it's going to be easy for me to show you, and paste, and I say this is Mary Rampy, or Marilyn, if that would be fair enough. Um, the main account is Eric Rampy. It isn't now Mary. It isn't Mary Rampy, that, uh, Marilyn, sorry. It isn't that, that word and that word together. The main account is the bill payer, the person that you're chasing for money. So if you've got families, the account name needs to be the main account. Um, and it's where you're going to get funky if you don't. If you've got people... You could change it later too. So if you import it now and there's a few people that aren't tagged to the right account, you can always change them later. But it is something that you're going to want to pay a little bit of attention to, that you want to tag, you know, especially if you're going to put the kids and your players in your CRM, you want to tag them to the parent account. In this case, literally the parent account. So uh, you're talking about the family account, the main account, rather than everybody having an individual accounts. So that might be funky to understand, but as you get further into the training, you'll understand where it needs to be. Um, it can be edited later. You want to sort of get it right first time, if you can. Um, but, you know, it's not an ideal situation always, is it? You, you Sometimes you're going to have to do a bit of tinkering. You're going to have to do a, a little bit of playing around. Uh, but I'll import these, and then I'll show you and then you'll probably grasp it a little bit more as we go forward. So let me close that. I'm going to go to contacts at the top and import. Same as before, import contacts. I'm going to pick out supported formats, pick out my CSV, upload my CSV. It's going to say it's happy with the format. Add as new contacts, update existing or both. If Again, if it's the first time you're doing it, you will just do add as new. If you want to update, bulk update, you can just do update existing ones. Or if you want to add any new ones, and you would um, you would basically click both. So you want to, if there's nobody on the list with a contact, then add a contact. If the contact already exists, then we're going to edit it. Uh, and then you would pick which field is the unique field to look for duplicates or to look for um, editing uh, contacts that live. You would probably put email. <coughs> Sorry. But for this, in this scenario, you're just going to do add as new contacts, right? So just do next. And it's going to pick and map those fields again. So the one it's missing is account name. So you're going to go to account name and click account name uh, in that field, which maps it to the actual account. It's picked up mailing, it's picked up phone, it's picked up mobile. Uh, website is, a, is not going to map and account number is not going to map. Um, I mean, you could, I don't think it'll map to the main account, so you don't need to worry about account number for this. Yeah, well, it won't even show. So, you're going to click next. Two fields not mapped, we know that. Uh, add a task. And again, I mean, you if you're putting new customers in, you might want to put a task that's contact, contact to check billing information, but for 500 people, I certainly wouldn't do it at this point. Add tags. Again, you might put... Um, you might put uh, members for this. If it's your member list, rather than your contact list, rather than your um, vendor list or your your 
uh, employee list or you know coaches if you've got a list of coaches and you're going to put there you know um, employees in it or co you put coaches as a tag but for these I'm going to call them members all these people are member member contacts right enable manual approval I would not put that for 500 imports and then click finish it's going to take you know the usual uh, a minute 30 seconds to a minute depends how many imports you're doing and how heavy the uh, server is but usually it doesn't take long we're gonna get that email for happy me sports we'll just wait for it and there we go 499 so two got skipped so two it's not happy with I don't know if that will show me the two oh so it's Marilyn uh, please check the root cause of uh, the import German mine off. Duplicate record exists. For, oh, yeah, I'll tell you why. It's because uh, I never changed the email address, did I? I never put Marilyn's email address. So if I go back to it, I actually said the email address was the unique field. So when I go to Marilyn, Marilyn and Eric Ramsey are identical email addresses so I should have um, changed their email so it's flagging anything you've got problems with it's flagging you can manually open upload them uh, you can manually add them if you've only got a few if you've got more it's a bit more of a worry isn't it but you can see so now when I go to contact I've got my contacts in there so is Abraham Cratch Phone number, I can phone them, phone them direct, mobile number. Um, the, where's the account gone? Account name should be on there somewhere. Um, that's bizarre. Usually it says account, I'm pretty sure. Show details, hiding the details, oh man. So yeah, you can, you can hide or show the details. I, and then the account names here look so the main account even though it's the same name the main account then has a contact in it so now you see a contact and you're gonna have more than one contact for each account so that's how to import contacts you can have your list of contacts you can have your list of accounts when you send a bill to a contact it will show in the account we'll get on to stuff like that soon